Yo, what's good, guys? What is good? So, it is May 7th. <clears throat> I wanted to drop this video on May 1st or at least April 30th. But I'm a little late, as you guys know. Being late is one of my strong points. You feel me? I'm always good at being late. But uh, if you don't know me by now, my name is OG Saya. Uh, please just call me Saya. Uh, today, we're, we're going to be discussing Black Deserts in a console T3, T4, and T5 Siege Guild rankings. Okay? Uh, now, keep in mind, not every guild mentioned is considered a Siege Guild. Some of these guilds may be Siege Guilds. Some of these guilds may be upcoming. Some of these guilds may be T3. Uh, some of these guilds don't even participate in T3, 4, or 5, but they participate in Siege because they're winning in T1 or T2. So some of these guilds, you guys may be like, oh, that's just a canon guild. On to the next one. I want to show everybody recognition. <clears throat> By everybody, I mean every guild, okay, that participate in Siege, whether they are dropping, uh, whether whatever the case may be. Uh, this sole purpose... Uh, is mainly just for content, mainly to see where guilds rank at. Uh, your guys' opinions might be a little different from mine. Uh, prefer, preferably, I'm only going to give some credibility to those in the top 10. Uh, I will do um, probably 1 through 20 just to show other guilds recognition. Uh, you know, just to throw that ladder out there. Uh, there is a lot of changes that have been happening recently, but this isn't from last year or years before. Uh, this isn't from anything that happened uh, in May. This is solely the purpose of Q1 rankings, okay? If you guys have anything that I should put different, please let me know. Um, first of all and furthermore, I want to say that I did ask every GM and GA to the best of my ability to help me with this. Uh, some people chose not to put their input in. Some people did chose to put their input in. So these aren't just based off of my own decision. I have consulted with multiple other GMs and GAs or whoever they re uh, redirected me to within their guild to give an opinion, okay? So just know this isn't just based off my own opinion. Uh, some of the reasons aren't based off my own opinions, okay? Uh, some of the things I, I'm going to tell y'all, I asked these uh, GAs, GMs, or advisors, or whoever. I asked them, I was like, what would you rank yourself? Uh, who would you rank in the top five? Who are you over and who are you under? Okay, just so y'all have like a little clue. I even ask people like, what's your uh, gear score average? How many do you guys pull? How do you see yourselves in T3, T4, T5 separately performance and stuff like that? So uh, for you guys, uh, just to clarify that a little bit, I am basing these rankings upon how well the guilds perform in No Wars, Siege, and GDGs. As well as 1v1s and team fights. Uh, another thing is how big these guilds are, how many they can pull. Uh, we can't forget about longevity. We're talking about gear score averages, skill differences in small comp, large comp, and medium comp, uh, as well as other categories. Um, please don't think I'm being biased. Please don't think I'm trying to blacklist anybody. Because, like I said, I asked multiple people for their. Uh, opinions their inputs and stuff like that so with that being said let's get into it and if you feel like somebody should be <clears throat> if you feel like a guild should be up one or up or down one uh let me know what you guys think so for our number one spot it's not even a shocker you shouldn't even be surprised uh, even if you don't play on console if you play no EU console or Asia console, you should know what guild this is. If you play on PC, you should know what guild this is. Because this has been this guild for a while, and I'm not even trying to glaze or anything. For our number one spot, we have Sacred, okay? Uh, this guild has been around for some time. Doesn't look like they're going anywhere in the rankings anytime soon. This guild, I would say, have the highest activity rating out of all guilds in the past and present, you feel me? Everybody uses the little joke and say, uh, which was originated by uh, Jay. Uh, as you can see, he's probably right in front of me in, the, in that same goddamn spot. Uh, hated Jaravity. If that's the right person. I don't know if that's the right person. I don't know his family name. You feel me? Uh, a lot of people, uh, if you're online, get to the fighter, you're getting kicked. You know, so many people use that joke and so many 
<coughs> damn, I'm trying not to cuss. And so many different uh guilds. I, I've heard it on panic streams, uh nameless streams, archer streams. So that that saying is definitely out there. Uh this guild is damn near undefeated, I would want to say. Uh you rarely see them lose, and if you see them lose, it's mainly because of their alliance that they have. Uh with the exception of only losing the flow. You feel me? Um, these guys have the highest gear score average on console. Uh, not only do they have the highest gear score on console, when it comes to large scale, they have some of the best comp. Uh, that, that's hands down. You feel me? Um, even when they're, the odds are against them, they're outnumbered. These guys seem to find a way to get the W. Uh, you can't, can't really hit on that, bro. Can't really hit on that. Uh, when it comes to open world, and you if you try to one v one this guild versus guild, you're probably getting out zerg. Everybody knows, you know, you fight against sacred in the open world, you're getting zerg by one guild. You feel me? And that's that's hilarious to say because these niggas, I, I, I'll, I'll probably say they don't have no job because anytime you fight against them and you try to pull numbers, they they out pulling. You feel me? Uh, and the list goes on and on. I, I can say so much achievements, but overall, this when it comes to rankings in every single category, this guild is number one. Okay, uh, number two for rank two, this spot right here could be arguably chosen between two guilds. Uh, which, if it was asked only of me, I probably would have gave a biased opinion. Uh, but it's not a biased opinion because I did ask everybody what they think. And it's safe to say that our number two spot is hereby reserved for the guild Nameless. Yes, I say Nameless is number two. <coughs> this guild has been around for many years. Uh, they definitely face some hardships and concerns. They have literally had the whole game of, against them to having a point of the whole game with them, which is a very, very high fluctuation right there, you ask me. Uh... It, it got so big of an alliance that they called it the Mega Alliance. Uh, the Coupon Alliance because they had so many guilds with them. Uh, now they're down to having only four guilds with them at the moment. But just to see a guild that has the whole game against them to the whole game with them is very, very surprising. It, it, it's a huge shock. Uh, there's no guy... There's <coughs> it, no doubt that these guys are great leaders. And have some of the strongest and smartest alliance in this game that this game probably has seen in, in a while. But they recently dropped two guilds from their alliance, took two territories that same week. So that, that goes to show that they don't really need a large alliance to do stuff like this. Uh, who knows? Because, you know, this only this Q1. We don't know what's going to happen in Q2 and the rest of the year. But, you know, they proved that they could do it. Uh, this guild definitely has numbers for open world. I would probably say they have the most pull-ups. Only second to sacred, okay? Like, these guys, they, they definitely have the CTG on wraps. Uh, if anything, I will probably say, like, like their guild master traps, that man is the CTG lord. He is the CTG master. If you see traps, just know, no, he gonna call a CTG. Now, sacred might not do the CTG off the rip. They might do port by port by port. But nameless is straight to the CTG. I'ma just keep it a buck. Ain't nobody automatically CTG in like they were. You feel me? Uh, this guild definitely goes toe to toe with Arsha and Sacred many times in the No War, and it gives them credibility because no other guild in this game, with the exception of Flow, Sacred, Arsha, and Panic, has really beat them in a No War like that. Uh, and, and I'm talking about in a one v one, even on Siege, one v one terms. Uh, these guys are definitely, definitely great. And I don't think anybody outside the big four can actually beat them. Uh, before I even get to rank three, I do want to give an honorable mention. Uh, Flow isn't really a guild anymore. If they were, they would be ranked number two. But they're not a guild any longer. So I do want to give that honorable mention because I feel like some of you guys may ask me where's Flow in this list. And that's why Flow isn't on this list. Uh, rank three. <coughs> So, as stated before, uh, the previous number two and three spot, it could be argued uh, and maybe seem biased if I say Arsha as number two. But this is why I say that it could have been argued. Uh, I am a member of Arsha, 
so me saying Arsenal would be number two, a lot of you would probably discredit this whole entire video. Uh, a lot of you probably would be like, I'm gaslighting, I'm glazing my own guild, I'm being a fan, I'm being unfair. But I ask for other guild masters and advisors' opinion as well. Uh, one of the things that kind of held Arsenal back from being number two is, you know, the comp. Uh, you don't see a lot of Drax and Guardians and comp classes or meta chases like that. Um, Arsha has just became a, uh, a Seas Guild leader and isn't under Sacred or Flow. Uh, <clears throat> and when I say under, I don't mean like take direct orders. I'm saying under as in being the, uh, the strongest guild in that alliance. That's what I mean when I say under. So I don't really mean like under like, you know, stuff like that. Uh, hopefully y'all get it, the gist of that. But uh, I guess I could say R since I'm in a part of Arsha, you know. Um, our guild holds the number three spot is Arsha. Uh, Arsha is being brought back under a new flag of Guido and Thug at the time. Uh, became an all Zerk guild into a T1 guild, T2 into the Siege guild that it is today. I definitely shown some of the quickest and most efficient progress that I've seen in a very long time. And before I say anything of merit, uh, you know, this guild is just amazing. Uh, with Selbs coming in, being the shot caller, uh, officer, and more, I have seen this guild beat Nameless and Panic multiple times on multiple occasions. Uh, I will say that Arsha is better than Nameless and Panic when it comes to 1v1, No War, and um, Siege. But, you know, when it comes to, like, Siege team fights or No War team fights, it's a hindrance mostly because of the alliance. Nameless does have a better alliance. So that's why Nameless has that better lead leadership. Because, like I said, it isn't just about your own guild. This isn't about who's the strongest guild. It's everything put into all different categories okay um i will say another thing is that the alliance arsha doesn't have one of the strongest alliances on this game uh that also factors in of why they're number three instead of number two um uh, but this guild has shown that they definitely pull up for no wars they definitely pull up for siege and do what they have to do to get that w they definitely have you know popped up in open world with numbers time and time again uh don't really lose to anybody in a 1v1 recently except for you know sacred but i mean who doesn't lose the sacred uh they definitely have some high gear score people in this guild definitely have uh very great skilled players and i feel like that's why it's ranked number three but enough of that uh rank four holding on at wait for is the guild panic uh, this guild has definitely been through a number of trials and tribulations with the backing of many people. Uh, I, I want to say Zen probably is the best GM that Panic has ever seen. And he definitely shaped Panic in what it is in today. So, I don't want to offend anybody in Panic, but I will say this is why Panic is number four and not rank two or three. Um, Panic is good in No Wars. There are very great players in Panic. They do have a very high gear score. I feel like they, they dedicate themselves to having a higher gear score and to being number one. Uh, they, they probably have a higher gear score average than Nameless and Arsha. But one of the things that they're lacking a lot in is open world presence. Uh, you don't really see Panic like that in the open world presence. Or at least I don't really see them like that. And a couple of other guilds have said the same thing. But they have been focusing on grinding and everybody knows they focus on grinding. It's just that not having that open world presence is definitely putting a killing on them. Uh, another thing is if, when anybody within the big four loses to a guild that isn't in the big four or the big five, a lot of people start to meme and make jokes. And with Panic losing to Threat twice within Q1, that definitely plays a huge part. If Nameless would have lost to somebody outside big four, they would have went down. Arsha loses to somebody outside of big four, they would have went down as well. So please, anybody in panic, don't take this the wrong way of what I just said. Uh, another thing is, panic isn't an alliance leader yet. I already explained to you guys what an alliance leader is. But panic is seen as a very strong siege guild, 
but having them under nameless definitely plays a big part of why they're at number four instead of two or three another thing also which is bad about them is that when they lost the threat a lot of their members as well as people in their alliance were saying they only lost because zen was in their shot caller uh when you have a guild that uses an excuse as oh our guild isn't good without this person that plays a huge role because what if that person uh, stopped playing the game or something else happened to where they're not playing black desert or they're just not there or which you're pretty much saying that the guild is only good because of that one person uh as we've seen within q1 uh thug and guido have stepped down from playing black desert or is still out there winning so that plays a huge part and I, I don't want to talk trash about panic because that's not talking trash that's just me spreading some of the facts and saying why they're ranked four uh, panic definitely is a great guild uh, they definitely look after their the people in their alliance uh they definitely gave up castle a lot of times from my knowledge uh they are definitely great uh they have the best cannon team i will say they do have the best cannon team on console a better cannon team than anybody else within the big four and yes i am saying they have a better canon team than arson nameless and sacred uh with that being said their strats are very good <coughs> uh zen is definitely a mastermind uh i'm pretty sure he could shape any guild in this game to come up just like he's done with panic uh and there it goes definitely seems to be uh on par uh this guild was the only guild that could beat flow uh in a 1v1 for no war and for siege so seeing that happen was definitely a shock because i don't think nameless and arsha did that uh within that time frame so that is definitely a big remark for them uh chasing th that number one spot uh now this is rank five okay <clears throat> i need to drink some juice i'm sorry so y'all hear me like kind of slurp or let me just take a hand Whew. all right so rank five rank five is a harder spot to decide and it definitely was a lot more hard to decide this other than two and three unlike i did with those two I, i'm gonna tell you who the spot is beforehand the two guilds constantly fighting for the spot within the big five is sound and threat uh with threat being a slightly stronger guild and recently beating panic who has the fourth rank seed sound does has better performance when it comes to allied team composition and with them recently beating threat defy and electric even though i don't claim electric as a real guild i'm just saying no offense to electric uh and that does happen most of the time uh, with a lot discussing with many others this spot definitely rules with the majority and it definitely goes to sound okay uh sound is one of the newer guilds compared to the big five when it comes to siege uh and with that being said they definitely showed a lot of improvement this this guild being a merge of i think mainly curses and issues uh they showed the game that sometimes you have to kill the idea of creating an alliance to take over something by just saying forget it we're just going to merge into one guild uh if i'm right i'm right if i'm wrong i'm wrong i apologize but uh i think it's safe to say that with them being a part of the strongest alliances of the three uh i can't put my 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 <laughs> I, I can't think of what i was about to say my bad but uh they definitely have got stronger than any of the two x girls that was uh a part of their alliances uh that's what i was trying to say i was trying to think of the old girls uh sacrament who was in their alliance and the victim who were in their alliance they definitely got stronger than the victim definitely got stronger than sacrament took their spot uh you know but i don't want to go too much into that because uh that's not what this is pertaining to but they definitely rose the ranks within their own alliance and got to the spot of being the number three guild in their alliance um now this guild definitely strive for rising amongst the ranks and cannot be overlooked but compared to the big four open world presence seems to be lacking in terms of small scale you could probably say they have a good small scale comp 
Um, a lot of people know these two names who I'm about to mention, and that is Lee and Rallo. If those two guys are everybody calling rats, but these two guys definitely changes the tide of any sound fight that I've ever watched or been to, whether I'm participating in it or just spectating. Those two guys definitely know how to turn the tides for sound. Um, you know, a lot of people might shit talk this guild, but you know, the way they work with a team is definitely amazing. They're definitely striving to get better. Uh, I'll probably say one of the things I would like to see from this guild is just a lot more open world presence. I feel like a lot more open world presence with this guild, a lot more gear score rising would definitely help them have better comp and stuff like that. Uh, one of the things I've seen this guild do is take over a whole territory with uh, with just them against a bunch of other guilds who are all against them. So they, they definitely have it in them. Uh, I just want to see them actually strive to do that a lot more instead of whatever you guys are trying to down them for. And I, uh, I want to say that with a lot of respect. A lot of you guys might not feel that way, but and uh, I'm definitely going to show respect to a lot of these guilds. You feel me? Uh, and that's all I can really say for at this point. Uh, <clears throat> and at rank six, we do have threat. And like I said, who got five was definitely a hard thing to say. But um, five did go to sound and six is going to threat. Now, I will say that threat, who has definitely came a long way, as well as so many different aspects. Uh, they can't be overlooked. Uh, like I said, Sound was the newer guild, but Threat, who has been a guild for a while, they did take a break from the siege scene. Uh, with them getting back into the siege scene, they were with uh, Flo. Uh, it was a two guild alliance, and they, you know, they did beat Panic and name this multiple times, and to Castle, as well as winning two v three sometimes, as well as those two v twos. Threat definitely has definitely always been a part of the worst alliance on this game and i don't mean to backlash on their alliance i don't mean to shit on any guild in their alliance i'm just saying when it comes in terms of numbers they've definitely been outnumbered uh when it comes in time of gear they've definitely been out geared so that's why i said one of the worst alliances uh i don't mean <laughs> i don't mean that everybody in the alliance is trash they're just outnumbered they're out geared and that's what I mean. Um, then, in in so many people' opinions, they're definitely a stronger guild, a slightly stronger guild than Sound, but the team composition definitely holds them back in so many different terms. Um, and this is from other people's speculations. So please, anybody who is who will get mad at me. Don't look at me the wrong way or start hating on me or try to shit talk me because of this. But other people's speculations, I don't know how true or false this is. You guys can fact check this by asking the GMs of those girls or asking people in the game. Uh, when it comes to terms of 1v1, Threat has beat Sound more at times. When, when it comes to terms of 2v2, uh, Sound and Revolt has beat Threat and Defy more at times. So that is one of the reasons why Threat is ranked six as well. Uh, they, when it comes to them in Arsha or even them in Flow, they definitely perform at a different uh, level. But like I said, numbers and outgeared definitely plays a huge part. Their open world presence definitely seemed to be there. Uh, I've legit fight against these guys so much, or even see my guildmates fight against these guys so much. I'm pretty sure they fight against almost anybody in the game. They're never backing down. I got I recently got griefed by a guy in uh threat. Even though he was getting his ass whooped, dude just kept coming back and griefing. But they do love that open world presence. And I feel like for Q I feel like for Q two, they might be at that rank five. Who knows? Uh definitely definitely want to see them work better with the five. Uh and you know, get their get backs as well as see sound and revolt keep rising as well. <coughs> so uh rank seven. I'ma keep it a buck with you guys at rank seven. I guess this may be a shocker to everyone. 
and I'm gonna explain why, but I'm not gonna go too much into great detail. We have Revolt standing in with the spot locked in. So a lot of you guys might be asking, how is Revolt, Revolt ranked seven out of all these guilds that play? Revolt is newer to the siege scene compared to these other guilds, and when I say newer, they are a hundred percent brand new. With the uh, with the merge of Hell Spawns, I think it was these guys definitely have got the numbers needed to actually be able to come to these fights and perform better. But ever since they returned within a few months, they've been climbing up the ladder from the very bottom, and I mean they've been in T1, T2, and just came to T3, T4, T5. Whereas these other guilds who are trying to attempt to do T3 up, drop the T1 and T2 and are now just starting to rise back to T3 up because of Revolt setting the, setting the standards for that. Uh, I honestly seen Revolt uh, pull up with so many numbers to GVG against Ominous. Uh, I've seen them pull up so many numbers to put, uh, GVG against uh, Sacrament. So these guys definitely have the numbers. Uh, they're definitely fighting people in their weight class. And they're definitely rising up. As well as have some very great performers. Uh, such as uh, the Drek that's in their deal. Jin, Jin Miri and uh, the other guy. Definitely, definitely some great players and great leaders within that guild. Uh, recently, they still made it with Sacrament in a two-hour long 1v1 no war fight. I feel like that's very impressive uh, when it comes time to Siege. These guys, their their numbers are outdoing other guilds that are supposed to be in the uh, the bottom half of the top ten, and that that has to say a lot. Uh, if you if you don't think that, then I'm sorry, but these guys also came in, got picked over two of their other allies. Uh, with that, I mean, these guys are definitely favored over two of their allies who've been in the the alliance for a while that also says a lot because not that many guilds are going to trade one guild and drop two you know so they they definitely strengthen their siege size they're strengthening so much uh i haven't fought against these guys that much in the open world fight uh i'm i'm, I'm saying like 5v5 or 10v10 or 10 plus 10 plus but i would love to fight against these guys in open world because watching what they're doing they're they're doing a great job at it uh at rank eight we do have sacrament uh sacrament definitely has been around for years and definitely have leadership passed down a few couple times due to uh a tragedy of uh <coughs> a tra tragical moment of uh their ogm passing uh, i will say uh sacrament seems to be that barrier when it comes to being considered a siege guild um, a lot of guilds, believe it or not, they they target Sacrament, and they pretty much say to themselves, if, if you can't be Sacrament, you're not good yet. If you can't be Sacrament, we're, you, you're going to guess that you're simply okay and ready to siege. Uh, so Sacrament definitely seems to be that goal to becoming a siege guild. Um, they're a very decent guild. I will say though, I'm I am I am somewhat disappointed in their performance as a siege guild. I'm very disappointed in their no war, but you know, I I, I want to see Sacrament get a lot better. I definitely want to see them get a lot better. I just feel like over the years they're decreasing their strength, but hopefully, hopefully, uh, you know, that that guild pulls it together and they get a lot better. Um, it. That's all I really have to say about that. Uh, rank 9, we do have Omnius, who has recently adopted the nickname of Big O. Uh, Omnius definitely has the numbers, and they are there for fights. Uh, <coughs> they definitely pull numbers when it comes time to anything. Any type of PvP, they're definitely pulling numbers. Open world, no war, and siege. They, they, they got y'all when it comes to numbers. Uh, one of the things that are holding them back from being up in the ranks is that they definitely got locked out at least three times within Q1. Uh, over the years, they've definitely been a portable guild. And by portable guild, what I mean is they've been in Alliance, Alliance, Alliance. Uh, started under Flow to under Nameless to under Sacred. 
uh, I get politics plays a huge part, but that definitely plays a part in why they're lower in the rankings. Uh, they just got traded out by being one of the two guilds who's dropped for Revolt within their alliance, so that definitely plays a, a huge part of that. Uh, they definitely got beefer, beefier <coughs> with uh, a couple panic people joining them, but we haven't really got to see them perform too well. And like I said, within Q2, a lot could change. But uh, being being locked out definitely plays a huge part. Definitely plays a huge part. Uh, recently, we've seen at the last siege that did do better than Sacrament, but that's kind of too late to uh, say, you feel me? And everybody has good days. Everybody has bad days. Uh, so we're definitely going to see what uh what could happen with that uh at rank 10 um rank 10 is is kind of a, a iffy statement i don't know what you guys are going to say i don't know who you guys got uh you y'all can vote in the comment section do y'all think this should go to defy or do y'all think this should go the way to the dawn um <clears throat> i will say both of these guilds have got locked out before uh once or twice and uh you know that that plays a very huge part um and it i want to say it's a numerous amount of guilds that are left after these two guilds to be uh placed on this but it either is going to go to way to the dawn or defy and i chose to give this to defy uh and i don't think it's no doubt that these guys secure the uh their spot within the top 10. uh they're shown to be very effective in small scale fights uh but they like the numbers and the gear score it takes to be effective in siege uh these guys have shown at the uh, events that jane janeway has been throwing that they're definitely they're definitely one of the top t3 guilds uh when it comes down to that they definitely carry their teams uh, at the free fall they ended up beating omnius in a 50 verse 50 or i think it was 40 v 40. uh these, these guys when it comes down to to uh to small scale they definitely have a very strong core within that T3 scene. They're definitely holding it one of the top spots. Uh, they they haven't really been beating uh, Revolt that much. I think Revolt is up on score when it comes time to that. But these guys definitely are doing their thing against Ominous. But the the uh, you know the open world presence. I feel like that definitely needs to be up. Uh, the numbers and stuff like that when it comes down to large scale fights such as Siege, that definitely needs to be up. I definitely want to see the five uh, Revolt, Sacrament, and Omnius step up a lot. I want to see if they'll be able to take the spot from either Sound of Threat. And I want to see if Sound of Threat could take the spot from Nameless Archer or Panic. Uh, with that being said, uh, rank 11 definitely goes the way to the dawn. Uh, and my, in my opinion, it was hard to see who got ranked 10 out of uh, way to the dawn in the five. I haven't really seen way to the dawn uh, perform that much, but with them being in a larger alliance, it's very easy to say that they're a stronger guild because of that alliance. Uh, now that they dropped from being such in, in a bit in a, such a big alliance, we're definitely going to see them perform a lot more. Hopefully, uh, so. We're, we're going to see how Q2 plays out. Uh, I do have some honorable mentions. I'm not really going to say too much about this. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. Uh, rank 12 goes to Conviction. Uh, rank <coughs> 13 definitely goes to Dark Hand. Rank 14 goes to Two Ravens. Rank 15 goes to Frag. Uh, rank 16 goes to Electric. Rank 17 goes to Adrenaline. Rank 18 goes to Unrivaled. Rank 19 goes to True. And rank 20 goes to MMR. If there's any other guilds out there that participate in T3, T4, T5, or Siege, whether they're just placing with a 10 man to ball out or they're actually competing, please let me know. Hopefully, you guys like this video. Comment your opinions. Uh, let me know. Uh, if I'm wrong on anything, please comment. You know fix, fix what i said uh but those are my opinions with the backings of other people from other guilds so definitely definitely let me know what you guys think 
this is OG Sire. I'm signing out. And let's see how this ranking is going to look by the end of Q2.